stimulus check amounts that keep on climbing. What's up everybody, my name is Randy and welcome to the Late Night Grind. Because the phrase, make hay while the sun shines, was coined by farmers pre-internet. Alright, let's get into this. Today I wanted to bring up stimulus update revolving around the actual amount of money that we could be receiving through these stimulus checks. Alright everyone, August 7th. That deadline is coming very quickly. What is that? That is a deadline that was set by Mitch McConnell as the final date that they wanna get a stimulus deal done by before Congress goes on a month long vacation. This is something that Mitch McConnell does not wanna give up. In fact, most of Congress does not wanna give up because, well, let's face it, the opposite of progress is Congress. And so even when they would return, if nothing gets done, we would have to wait another 30 days for them to return on September 8th when the session begins again. And all that means is that they would start meetings again. Doesn't mean anything would get done right on September 8th. They would still need to meet, they would still need to negotiate, and they would still need to fight, bicker, argue, and make themselves look good in front of the media when really behind the scenes, uh, it's it's just, it's... Uh, the Republican representative Steve Mnuchin and uh, Nancy Pelosi on the Democrat side, um, they are the ones that are actually leading the negotiations with this. Supposedly over the weekend, um, they said the talks were... Uh, there was a, sort of there was progress made. Um, they saw each other's side a little bit better, had a little bit better understanding of the other's point of view, and uh, they just felt like they were a little bit closer uh, to agreeing on something. Yeah, I don't know. Um, that's kind of like wading into the Pacific Ocean up to your knees and being a little bit closer to Hawaii. You watch the interviews, and you know, I just I haven't seen this much bitterness and posturing and hypocritical discussions since Real Housewives of Orange County season two. Uh, the Heels Act, which was proposed by the Republicans, uh, basically put out there $1,200 stimulus checks, $500 for dependents, but you were not capped on the number of dependents that you could claim. And in fact, it was actually expanded based on, uh, or compared to the original CARES Act, uh, because that had an age limit to it. This does not have an age limit to dependents, so dependents over the age of 17, you would be able to claim that check for, whether it's $500, $1,200, which is being discussed, um, or whatever it is, they would be available, uh, they would be eligible to receive that. Now, this is something that both sides seem to be actually agreeing upon. Um, that, along with that $1,200 magical number, seems to be, uh, well, a magical number that they agree upon. Um, now, the good part for, especially for larger families, uh, is that right now it does not look like dependents are capped, even for a $1,200 stimulus check. That means every parent and dependent would be eligible for a $1,200 stimulus check, including stimulus checks, like I said, for those over the age of 17 that were not eligible for the CARES Act stimulus. But as of right now, nothing has been passed. This is all, uh, I don't wanna say speculation. It's been discussed. It's been uh, said by both sides that, you know, this is something that they really wanna move forward with. Um, it worked well for the first round of stimulus check for the most part. But if something doesn't get done, uh, President Trump basically just said, you know, he's basically threatening to step in and do something himself, um, which he can do uh, through executive order. There's actually several ways that the government can actually uh, offer some type of stimulus uh, without the House and the Senate being involved in the process. Um, it's, it's not simply kept to the House and the Senate to agree upon something on a bill. However, uh, so what would that look like? I ha honestly have no idea. Nobody has any idea what that would look like if Donald Trump were to step in. Uh, my guess is it wouldn't be too far off from the proposals that were put forward already. But the one thing I do know about Donald Trump is that he is a world-class negotiator. Whether you love him or hate him, I mean, we've seen it with Russia, uh, with China, with the China trade deal, North Korea, um, Mexico. Uh, the North American trade deal, it, it's just, uh, you know, win after win for him uh, and in large part for the American people. It, it's just one of the things he does. He puts the right amount of pressure on the situation and on the people involved uh, to get the result essentially that, that he wants. And obviously, um, majority of the things have been with America first in mind. So we'll see. Uh, honestly, I, I don't know if something's going to get done by the 7th. I've seen governments have uh, negotiations back and forth with other things before um, where they had government shutdowns. Basically, uh, both parties 
basically both government uh, both sides of the government holding the american people hostage to some degree in terms of shutting down the government this was back when they were proposing adding on more debt uh, which kind of seems laughable now uh, being the situation we are in currently because of the uh, government shutdowns unemployment things like that so my opinion well it, it doesn't really matter uh, but the good news of all this is, like I said, it seems like every time there's pressure put on them, whether by President Trump or this 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 deadline, this vacation deadline, um, it just seems to equate to more potential money for the American people. There's still things that need to be addressed, such as uh, the unemployment uh, benefit boost, um, the the eviction moratorium, uh, both things Donald Trump wants to take, get taken care of um, as well. Uh, especially the eviction moratorium. He's made several uh, comments over the last few weeks. He wants something to be in place uh, for the time being. Um, he actually proposed to extend uh, the eviction moratorium another month, and the Democrats said no. Um, they want their big deal passed in a whole, not just uh, temporary. You know, we're going to get to see. So that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's stimulus update. Um, like I said, Typically, it's good news whenever we get these updates because it seems like the checks just get bigger and bigger and bigger. That's not always the best thing in the world either because while well, the U.S. can't just continue to print money, that's going to result in other problems down the road. So in any case, um, that's going to be it. I would really, really appreciate if you would do something for me right now, which is hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel, The Late Night Grind. And also, uh, don't forget to like. That really helps out with the YouTube algorithm in terms of sharing this video and growing this channel. And I really wanted to start this channel so to bring you guys on and uh, bring you to my work at late nights. When I, whether I'm working on a YouTube project or a side project, I want to bring you guys along with. Uh, for now, we're going to be sticking with stimulus updates because, well, it revolves around getting money, whether we earned it or not. All right, thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you next time.